I got some bad news, boys. I got some bad news. I got some bad news. I'm back did on my bullshit. Did you bring the milk back at least? Or did you forget what the it fuck? while trying to train the dinos? You're ruining my intro. I'm back on my bullshit. It's me. Bad news for you guys and the VTuber sphere. <laughs> Welcome back, Junie. Hello, I hope thank had an you. amazing break. Don't work yourself to death, okay, June? I- don't worry, I haven't been. I'll tell you what I've been Can't doing for two been fucking weeks. Year. My life has changed <laughs> a lot in that time. Who knows where I'll be in another year. Yo, thank you. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with subs or year anything. Year and a half of Moth. Um, but- There go. But thank- Moth dance. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you for the tier 3 femboy harpy! But we love you Yo, back. hello? Call me. <laughs> Damn, that's like two things I'm super into. Oops. Uh, anyways, uh, yo, thank you, thank you guys so much. It's gonna be so, so hard for me to keep up with all of this right now. Uh, thank you for the tier 3 moth Seraphim jam, Zara! Jam, jam. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, the, the thing. Hi. Oh yay, moth time. I'm back. I'm back and I'm slightly more tinfoil hatted than I was before. Uh, Welcome back on your bullshit. <laughs> Less than three. Slightly more deranged than I was before. Uh, slightly more. Uh, 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 <laughs> slightly more anti fed than I was before. Uh, yo, thank you for the sub. Haku Yaga, thank you, thank you. Harpy Burb, another harpy in my chat? Hello. Welcome uh, thank back. You, CJ. The thank timing you. couldn't be better. I usually miss your streams, but my two week vacation just started. <laughs> Yo, uh, if I had a parent on stream, Hi, what stream Junie nickname would they comfy. have? Probably Mother. I mean, I know that's like mine. How I see the eyes. The eyes? Hi, Junie. Like Cutest in the walls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so chat, I'm fucked up. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh. Nine months <laughs> Okay, so, uh, I was planning on having a very chill stream, uh, the little, little bevy, um, get caught up with chat a little bit. This is way, 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 way later than I normally stream. I usually stream at about, uh, 2 p.m. PST, but tonight I kind of just wanted to- Yo, let's go one full year of moth. Yo, let's go! I kind of just wanted to hang out with my boys, uh, my, my boys, B-O-I's, right P-O-I's. Thank you, Junie. It has been a wonderful year, thanks to you. Care to explain your 300 plus hours in ARC? Ah, oh, fuck, Not Reagan me. is friends with me on Steam. Fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, how do I hide that? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> um, uh, we'll get to it, we'll get hey, to yo, it. Moth mother. I brought the milk back. Hey, we're just gonna wait for the alerts Hello, to catch up beast. on us. Be uh, enjoying your streams for a while. Thank you. Hope you keep up the energy. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Silver Rogue and Zwana and Swirls and Elasta Rose and Sentinel and holy shit, we're we're just gonna let all of that catch up, uh, and then 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 we can then we can chat, okay? Otherwise, I'm just not ever gonna be able to finish the sentence. <laughs> Sweet moth dance. Sweet moth dance. Where's everyone's favorite chaos baby? So nobody has redeemed it. Maybe somebody could redeem it. Hmm? Hmm? Hello, how is my favorite feet tube today? And how do you feel about the <gasps> gap seven of the 20 picks of sturgeon tube around? I just hey, 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 hey chat. Hey chat, do me do me a little fucking favor. Well, okay. howdy once what? again. <laughs> this gonna be an interesting I just got, night. I just got oh, I, I'm muting my alerts. I just got back from my break, okay? All right? Lean in, lean in. I, I wanna speak, speak, speak from my soul, okay? Don't fucking stop calling me a feet tuber. <laughs> I'm, I am on my knees fucking begging you. <laughs> People are gonna think this is like serious. People are gonna think it's a real thing. And I can't live with that. I can't fucking do it. Okay, I'm turning my alerts back on. Hi. Hello. Oh, wait, shit. Oh my god, my, my redeems haven't been working. 
I'm sorry, this will take like five seconds. Does my family know? Yeah, like my whole family knows. <laughs> uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, let's uh, log in. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good, baby. We're golden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my ho my whole family knows. Mm -hmm. That was the bad news that I'm back on my bullshit. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the Late tier moth. three meat man. Also thank you. six months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now we got we got the pats. We got the pats in the house. Excellent. All right, let me let me check a little. Damn, dude, we have a lot to catch up on. Just kidding, we have very little to catch up on. I've fallen deep, deep into um, not my first uh, video game addiction, but um, definitely my last, most recent, last as in most recent, not last as in last, but last as in most recent. Uh, is it neon white? <laughs> no, it's much more cringy. <laughs> so let's see, about two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I was like, hey, I'm actually, uh, cause I didn't feel like making a schedule that Sunday. I was like, actually, I'm gonna take a few days off because I haven't uh, like done anything. Uh, like or I haven't like taken a break in like a couple of months, you know? And that's just, that's just healthy. That's just good practice. Cause like I, I tend to stream on alternating days, right? But when you stream on alternating days, it never feels like you have a weekend. All right, never ever. So, like, uh, yo, thank you for the sub, Kawati. So I was like, okay, I'll just take a few days off and take like an actual weekend, right? Okay, so that happened. That happened. And I... <laughs> and... And it's been two weeks. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of shit caught up to me, to be honest. Uh, Juniper streams be like turning in homework at the last minute. <laughs> I, fuck man. Let me, let me collect myself here. Again, it's, it's been, uh, it, it, my heart was racing before stream because it's been so long and I, I feel really rusty and I, I, I gotta, gotta get back on my shit. Uh, yeah, so a lot of things happened, and then, like, the vibes were super bad for, like, a week, so I just didn't stream because, like, the vibes everywhere were super bad, uh, because, uh, um, I live in the USA. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, one sec. 10k for Discord access seems excessive. It's also for subs. Uh, that's just for non-subs. Like, lurkers, you know? So that lurkers could also be in Discord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I've, uh, I've wrapped my room, uh, in tinfoil. Uh, I've covered up the windows, uh, and I've covered up the walls, and I'm wearing a tinfoil hat right now, uh, because the feds are developing a, like a, like a... Moth comfy, moth dance, moth dance, Like, like a little moth wave. Dance, moth dance, moth like, dance. <laughs> cause the feds are developing a, a radio wave that, that will get me pregnant if I'm in contact with it. So my whole room is tinfoiled. <laughs> my brain is tinfoiled because the radio waves enter through the brain. <laughs> It's like it's like 6G or something. <laughs> Prove it tinfoil ASMR. Oh fuck. Hold on. That's enough Wendigoon for a year. Bro, I watched his most recent video and like that was the first time I've actually been kind of worried. I was like, oh shit, he's gonna be okay, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, but the fan artist ideas. Fuck, man. It wouldn't be the first time. Would not. If you know, you know. If, that. That's it. <laughs> um. Yo. Yo. Thank you. Thank you for the sub, Aaron. Thank you, Kuro. Ya. Yoru. Thank you. Thank you. I. P. M. Heartfully. Thank you very much. Uh. Yo. Hello, chat. Why don't we catch up a little bit? Wanted you and JFK had me worried a bit for his safety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh 
my god, thank you for the five gifted subs, Chelsea M. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Uh, yo, thank you, uh, hate, 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 thank you. Yotsuteru, how does a sub message work? Glad you're back on your bullshit. Uh, ask, here to ask if you would drink the soup of your brethren if they tried to make more of you? <gasps> you mean like primordial moth soup? I would, I, absolutely, are you kidding me? I, I think if I drink more primordial- How does this sub message work? Oh fuck, work? sorry, I read well, ahead. anyways, glad you're back on your bullshit, Junie. Certified Lurker here to ask if you would drink the soup of your brethren if they tried to make more of you. I think it would make me more powerful. Because I'm just a- I, I'm just a- I'm just a moth amalgamation, you see. So having more primordial moth juice in my body would make me bigger and perhaps even bustier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, <laughs> I'm just a bug. I mean... Uh, thank you for the 13 months, Ariel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Salvis. It's legit you, been 13 months. Pay for child support. Mm -hmm. Also, feed your mods. We're starving. Mm -mm. This cave doesn't have food. No, you guys can eat each other. It's fine. Just like, uh, you guys have like four limbs, right? Sometimes I'll eat one of my limbs if I'm hungry. But you guys can't regrow those, can you? This is another nice example you, of uh, moth mommy. inferior also, ape humans. Flying baby moth is best moth moth long one moth long two moth long two moth long four moth heart. Moth heart. Thank you for the 10 months, Assertor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're not lizards, unfortunately. Bro. Okay, so here's what I was thinking about today. I crushed a watermelon with my thighs while you were gone. Fuck yeah, Metal Hattie! I love that for you! Shout out to my soul squad. Love you guys, even though I never work out with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so... So, okay, so so humans, right? This is what I was thinking about. And I don't, I, I don't exactly know what sort of just triggered this memory, but uh, so like, we're pretty, our hair is very fine, right? We're pretty naked, right? Okay, but like we're the only ape that's like that for whatever reason, I don't really care. I don't want to go into the semantics of like, uh, obviously this isn't not semantics. I totally, Let's go. that's the wrong word. I'm um, sorry, I'm a little burpy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, so so I was like, okay, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't give a shit if humans have like a, a, a furless fetish and they bred with each other until they had less and less fur. I don't give a shit about any of that. Okay, but what if... Okay, so what, what if we were like fluffy, right? Okay, like covered in, covered in fur, right? Okay, not like chimpanzees, but like even furrier, okay? Like a, like a marmoset? Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> Could we? <laughs> Do you eat or drink primordial moth soup? No, but I would if I could. Apparently that stuff is really expensive and I'm not allowed near it. Uh, so, so can we get like, okay, so obviously people give their poodles like shitty little haircuts. Like the, like the poofy ones, the poofy show haircuts, which I hate by the way. I hate that. I think poodles are fucking beautiful, beautiful dogs, and that haircut ruins them. It makes them worse. But then, like, you know, people will give, like, Pomeranians, like, little teddy bear haircuts, and that's adorable. So I was thinking, like, what it, <laughs> what would be, like, what would be, like, the styles of, like, human cuts, you know? Like, like, t you, you got your teddy bear cut, you got your, oh, shit. Are they, is this a furry, th have I done it? Have I, d is this the furry thing again? Uh, yo, thank you for the gifted sub, Karjan. Thank you for the resub, a user not found. Thank you. God fucking damn it. People already do this. People pay thousands of dollars to have a fursuit. Fuck! <laughs> it's just nice to see the adorable moth back, though the interns are now terrified again. Oh my god. I hope the milk is still good and that tinfoil better have been cheap. Milk can last more than two weeks. Honestly, I find First that milk- First time I can catch a stream in a while. Why is a fat <laughs> chunker of a moth flying all over the screen? <laughs> Do you need that I'm not a furry with guts theme video? Yes, please send that to me. <laughs> no, okay. I think milk tastes the best when it's like 
17 months oh, of shit, investing sorry. have paid off and we finally have a functional experiment. Mm, mm -hmm. Glad I've been along for the ride, and cheers to many more. Thank you for the tier 3 hell frost. Uh, functional's a bit of a strong word. I malfunction uh, and, <laughs> and stop working. <laughs> ah, Truth be told, I just want to see the babies hit the babies. <laughs> They're the same size as me. It's terrifying. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think I need to fix that. What was I talking about, chat? There we go. That that should do it. What was I talking about? You like aged milk is what you're trying to say? No, I'm being uh, for real, though. Milk tastes the best like three days before expiration. Like it tastes the sweetest. Like, no, you guys are, you guys are gonna be like, oh no, that's gross. It's not fucking expired yet. What, what, what are you guys, it's not expired yet. It's just gently aged. I'm not a goddamn psycho. <laughs> and my room is not covered in tinfoil. Gently aged? Do I like Post Malone? I've never really listened to Post Malone. What the fuck do they put in American milk? Dude, I don't know, but that shit lasts like more than a month. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 15 months smile, I don't want to say this time, so uh. My Yo, username is the generic user, not the generic user. It her okay, though. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, generic user. Isn't aged milk just liquid cheese? Open, hold on. Is it a, what? What are you talking about? No, keep that conspiracy theory shit away from me. What? According to- No, hold on, what is- Google, you son of a whore! I literally asked one question. <laughs> hold on, I need to show- I need to show you- Okay, this might be why Google is confused. Um, one second, one second. I just, I gotta upload something super quick. Uh, I didn't see it, but somebody in chat just mentioned Freud and I'm extremely excited. One moment. <laughs> How how long does it it to commit for milk to expire? Oh, milk a superior milk fight me. I don't know about that one, Chief. Actually, you know what? I would give almond milk a chance. I would give almond milk another chance. Uh, hold on. I think time limit is up. Uh. Oh, fu oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! All right, you guys didn't see shit. <laughs> Didn't see shit. Uh, so anyways, anyways, how do you- <laughs> How the fuck do you milk an almond? It's a really good question. I've heard oat milk is in season. You know what else I've heard is in season? Clussy. I got- I got myself a little bit of the- A little bit of the clussy fever chat. And-, and <laughs> Enough that next art stream- <laughs> My mod is like Juniper fucking Actius, like she's my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do not enable these weirdos. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna be on. People have been I'm into. Just go ahead and not ask what that means. No, people have been into clown girls for so fucking long, though. Like, uh, like, uh, I, I knew, I knew people back on Tumblr.com when I was like 16 years old that would like draw up like cute clown girls and shit. And you know what I'm gonna do next art stream? I'm, I'm all, I'm gonna do that. I'm all, <laughs> no, what's, what's the matter? I don't get it, bros. I don't get it. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. 
it'll just be for some of you. It'll be for the my my cultured people out there. <laughs> people are hell no. Oh my god, people hate people hate the clown thing. So that one fan art calling our facility clown genetic mockery facility was right, huh? <laughs> If I'm not a mammal, what are the tibby for? That's a great question. I am a mimic, essentially. So I just picked a lab hand to mimic. Somewhere out there. Somewhere out there, chat. There's a very cute lab hand that looks just like me, but without the moth bits. Do what you enjoy. Don't let the curmudgeons get you down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You guys are curmudgeons. Bunch of fucking old farts. Uh, thank you for the ten months, Kami Quasi. Thank you. And Moth happy, moth happy, moth happy. Yo, what? Why did it do that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I am. Uh, here, here, I'm tossing a little bit of bait in front of you guys to to get you off the feet, Tuber Train. That explains why you're a bottom, you are mimic use. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I'm actually Walmart Yuzu, huh? Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the two months, J-pop. Isn't that fucked up? I'm gonna I'm gonna DM her right now. Listen, the classy is no joke. Hold on. My mod just sent me a funny video. I have to upload it for you guys while I DM Yuzu. <laughs> Moth Mommy Supremacy. <laughs> Yo, thank you. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. This is gonna be really loud, heads up, because I live. have no volume control. <laughs> Great value. I am not a furry! Girl Isn't that bestiary? heartbreaking? Brings a tear to me. Oh, one sec, one sec. Where's Yuzu? I'm DMing Praise her right now. The moth god. Thanks for allowing me to nest here. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck! Sorry, one sec. <laughs> Yo, you're welcome. My chat called me a Yuzu mimic. Lol. <laughs> I'm not a furry moth copium. I'm coping. Let me. <sighs> That's the good shit. Okay, I'm back. Hey, All right, Juniper, hi. Sorry, I can't stay for the stream. I have work in the morning. Yo, have a good have one, a Gridlock. Stream. Hey, this is a really late stream. I don't expect, especially my EU people. If you're an EU people and you're on right now, please go to sleep. Please, <laughs> it's not gonna be worth it. I have nothing planned. I'm just, I'm literally just gonna sit here. Uh, and, and drink the rest of my Dr. Pepper whiskey and get my toothbrush eat by chat. I like it when the babies attacked the flying babby and scared the moth mommy as well. <laughs> Go to bed! <laughs> I hear you though, I completely fucked my sleep schedule once again. Uh, which is, like, out of character for me. I know me. people usually donate to see feet, but would it be alright to ask for a close-up of your smile? Oh. Aww. Is... Is this a... There are good people on Twitch? There are good people on Twitch.com? Okay. Okay. <sighs> That's adorable. Don't make me do it again now. 
thank you, Cult Aeons, and thank you, Roslick, and thank you for the bits, Lord Biggle Suede. Oh my god, by the way, if anybody has been doing donos, uh, I'm so, so, so sorry if I haven't been able to keep up with that. Uh, thank you, sir, for, for the 25. But I'm currently in love for Anime Expo, so I can actually watch you at a normal time now. Yo, all of my buddies are going to Anime Expo, but I am not. I am not going to Anime Expo. I haven't traveled, uh, like, at all, actually, since I moved. It's just, it's very daunting to me traveling on my own. I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a little... 15 moths, moth ideals. Yo, thank you, Vector. I have a, a little touch, a little touch of travel anxiety, chat. Uh, it's, it's... <sighs> No, it's not because of the COVID thing. I already wasn't planning on going to Expo just because, you know. But I think my mom passed that down to me because my mom has... <laughs> okay, that was going to be a burp, but it caught me off guard. Um, Because <laughs> my mom has fucking crazy travel anxiety. <laughs> And I a little little tiny bit of it rubbed off on little old me. By mom, I do in fact mean uh, my Luna Moth mom. I was uh, a normal caterpillar once upon a time. Once upon a time. Oh shit! <laughs> Yuzu answer. <laughs> it's nothing. Lol. I'm about to hop on a plane. I hope you have a fun stream. Yo, good luck. I actually love flying though. I just, everything that comes before and after flying, I really, uh, really freaks me out, especially uh, cars. Like if I had to rent a car, I think, okay, like obviously I can't cause I don't know what the rules are in your guys' countries uh, if you're not in the USA. Uh, but I think the rule for the USA is you can't rent a car until you're 25 for like insurance reasons because uh, young adults are fucking stupid as hell and will definitely wreck your car. Uh, but 26, is it 26? 25 is a silly rule. That's for men, I don't know about women. Oh true, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen hot Dr. Pepper before as in heat it up? Oh yeah, I I have. I I don't I don't really want to try it to be honest. I'm not I've sort of fallen out of being a hot drink person. I don't ugh, I don't know. Especially cuz I'm not in Alaska anymore. There's just no reason for me to drink hot drinks. Even if it's fucking like super cold, I would still rather get like an iced coffee than a hot coffee, you know? How old in moth years? Oh, I don't know about moth years. Considering that we live like two days. Mm. I'm a bit confused by your narrative. You say you're locked up for the safety of others, but can also escape whenever you please, but also <laughs> always return without conflict. Also, you kidnap animals to bring back, but if anyone enters your enclosure, mm, they mm. die. Mm. Uh, it's all part of the play, baby. Let's go a year with the moth. It's you all part of the 5D chess. To readjust IT. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Imagine Happy birthday. Happy like birthday, Zano. <laughs> no, I can go out on walks. I just have to wear my mask so I don't bite anybody. <laughs> Woke up from a nap to see you streaming. What a great night. Yo, thank you for the 11 months, Aunt Moose. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to be DMing you so while I'm streaming. She just answered me and she was like, wait, what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, how old am I in moth years? Like, okay, so is that... Hmm. Okay, so dog years are a lot sh longer than human years. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to do some calculations. I need to... <laughs> I'm brain blasting! Uh... I'm probably like millions of moth years old. One year equals 182.5 moth years. Oh, true. Wait, so that means I'm only like, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but, but wait. Okay, but, 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 but. You say that. You say that now, but. If, if we assume for a second that a moth has, like, a human-ish lifespan, then one moth year would really be, like, an hour, right? Project Actius, 
I'm donating to subsidize the purchase of one, one, copy of Metal Gear Rising, for oh! Avengers, now on sale for 7 US dollars and 50 cents, to be played at your own discretion. Jokes aside it's a genuinely timely game and def- Yo I got you homie. Right now, right now. Uh, I've been meaning to get into Metal Gear for a while. I played Metal Gear 3 cat. for DS. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh my god, why do I need to enter my birthday? Like, you can see my account! One sec. <laughs> That's so redundant! Like, if I made my account and I was like, I was born this day, this year, on this account, they shouldn't have to keep asking you. <laughs> okay, done, baby. I got Metal Gear Revengeance. Um, damn, dude. I just haven't done gaming streams in a while. Like, I don't think Binding of Isaac counts, you know? Because that's like, you know, that's like my brain off game. That's like what I play when I'm just trying to chill out and hang out, you know? I don't know. I, I've gotten kind of shy about about game streaming. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure why. I guess a, like a mental block, I guess. But I'll definitely try. I'll try again. Because playing Dark Souls uh, in Dark Souls 3 on stream was like the most fun like I've ever had streaming games, you know? Dark Souls 2 when? Oh, true. Sekiro? Mm. I'm just short and sweet. Yeah, that person said it was only like, uh, it would probably be like between two and four streams, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the only reason you're apprehensive because chat bullies the shit out of you. No, that's not it at all, actually. Uh, I have very thick skin. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> In fact, I encourage it. Like, if you if you look at my rules, actually, I'm like, oh, by the way, you can totally be mean to me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, it's just sometimes it's it's really hard for me to focus uh, when I'm like streaming and chatting and playing a game, and uh, it causes me to make really stupid mistakes sometimes, and that's really embarrassing for me personally, even if other people don't really care or notice. <laughs> You've made it to talk 90 more miles till I'm out of Alaska. Dual axe wielder, you need to go right fucking now. You need to run. You need to leave. Get out of there. They're gonna get you. They're not gonna let you leave. Getting out of Alaska is so fucking hard. There is one road, by the way, one single road that connects Alaska all the way down to the United States, okay? It is batshit insane up there. Um, hold on. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You have a streaming battery equal to a crank battery? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You're so mean. Are the VODs of Dark Souls 3 still around? No, unfortunately I did that before I started archiving. I also did like Hollow Knight before I started archiving and I really, really regret it actually. Um, but, I mean, <clears throat> I also played through Dark Souls 3. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, I also played Dark Souls 3 when I was only at like like 200 average viewers though so i could probably get away with replaying it to be honest any chance there's gonna be a merch restock soon i finally have money to purchase moth merch yo so get this get this okay i'm gonna have a booth at anime expo i'm not there but like my merch guy has a booth moso box uh and i am gonna be tweeting about it but he is gonna have like new shit like new standee new keychains i think new stickers um, but we also have, like, more stuff on the horizon. Like, really, really big stuff uh, that I've sort of talked about before that I shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, but it's it's really, really exciting. It's just, uh, it, it's it's gonna go a little bit slow uh, because he's really busy because he has to go to, a, like, a whole bunch of conventions. Um, and and we, are, we have, like, a third party involved in everything. But anyways, <clears throat> moth hoodie. Fuck! I would love... I would love to design like a cool stylish moth hoodie. 
Uh, but my guy does not do clothes. However, uh, I have been talking to some people lately who do do clothes. Which might be, might be fun. Hmm? Might be cool. We'll try. How about that? Do do. I did say do do, didn't I? You're disgusting. Get out of my chat. I'm kidding. I don't mean it. You know, sometimes. <laughs> Hello, Tilda. Hello, Tilda. Thank you, Marker. <clears throat> sometimes I wonder. Like, <laughs> no, please don't actually leave. <laughs> sometimes I wonder if I like, because I, I try not to banter too hard, right? Like, I don't, I have to be honest, chat. I rein myself in for streams, okay? Like, I, I like I will cut a bitch IRL, but I, I, I've reined myself in for streams. But sometimes I still wonder, like, <laughs> like if sometimes I'm if if I'm like a little too mean sometimes, you know. And I like I want to clarify any time chat is like her der blah blah blah, and I'm like, hey, fuck you! I don't actually, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it at all. No, I wouldn't actually cut a bitch IRL. I'm 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 over exaggerating. I just, I, I rein it in. <clears throat> I will say though, after this break, my reins have loosened. And I, I kinda, I kinda, I kinda wanna get a little more deranged. Uh, yo, thank you, thank you for the five months of Vigilant Shield. Thank you. I wanna see Juniper Unchained. <laughs> you know, I need to conceal my power level. <laughs> No more power hiding? No, I'm not going to. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, I'm not like super edgy or anything. I just, I, I just, I just rein it in, you know? Cause, uh, uh, cause, cause like being a, being a streamer or like a content creator is like, it's really tricky. It's a, it's a field that I've never like, you know, I hadn't really been into before last year. And I'm always like sort of concerned about like what things could be taken out of context or what things people could like willfully misinterpret or stuff like that. And it's it's so anxiety inducing. <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, it, or other things that you're not supposed to talk about, right? For an example, for an example, my aesthetic Pop is the only it's edgy Joker thing. Time oh, thank for you. The moth milk blue one cheesy. That's just the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Punching bags are great. <laughs> it's okay, chat. I can be your punching bag. That's it. You, you come, come, come inside. Come, uh, step inside, chat. Uh, ignore that glass. Ignore the glass separating us. Why don't, why don't you find out? Come on. <laughs> come punch me. Edgiest thing about you is the B story. <laughs> Another certified lurker here. I need you to shut up. <gasps> you dumb motherfucker. Thank you. Moth murder. Oh shit. It was a trick, chat. I had you fooled. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the six months milk blade. It's a joker arc time for the moth. Yeah. Yeah, man. <clears throat> it's about that time. It's about that time. Oh, yeah. What did I do the past few weeks? Um, I played like 200 hours of arc. Uh... <laughs> I just, I, I played 200 hours of shiny rock simulator arc. <laughs> Wasn't it 300? Well, I had played about 100 before. Um, thank you for the five gifted subs, Red Fruit, Red Fruit Panda. Bro, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I needed like some form of escapism. Uh, and, and Shiny Rock Collector was doing it for me. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't have to... 
Hates that song, Homecoming, isn't it? It is Home by eight Resonance. Months. More like eight by Moths, let's go. And I chose Arc. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I I play it like okay. Don't get me wrong, chat. Like Arc is super fucking toxic. So I play it on single player, and even single player is a little toxic. <laughs> It's not good either, true. <laughs> it's really not that good. It is, like I said, it's, um, <clears throat> for me, it's like a shiny rock simulator. Sup, nerd. How Yo. goes your dino taming? Thank you, Nexus. Uh, so I played like 300 hours of it. Uh, so I, I, I didn't talk to anybody and I didn't do any work and I just became a shut-in. I just, <laughs> I became a neat. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I mean, I guess not a neat, a net? Because I am educated. A net. Yeah, okay. Fuck, what does neat stand for? Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I hit a hotkey. What did I... Oh, I, I think I accidentally muted. There we go. We're good, we're good. No education, employments, or training? Yeah, like a net. <laughs> Or nint. My nint arc. My shut in arc. Oh boy. Somebody in chat was like, that's pretty unhealthy. And, uh, yep. It sure was. <laughs> I'm still. I'm, I'm still trying to reach inside my skull and pull all the cobwebs that have developed out. <laughs> Welcome back, Junie. Also, could you wish me luck with my master's final report and presentation that is Whoa, in two weeks? Whoa, Clizzard! Good luck on your master's, holy shit! Well, 5 a.m. Yo, thank you, thank you for that eight months big whisper. Uh, and Karasune. Hey, Karasune, go to bed! With some more music. Or at least take I a nap. I highly recommend Must Die and his song Chaos literally eight drops. Mm -hmm -hmm. I will look it up. I love a love a good drop. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> Shit, what was I saying? I need to get it together. What's going on? It's okay, you take one of these breaks every three or four months, it's 100% fine. At least this time you didn't come back with a new model. <laughs> True. Yeah, I had to pull- I am still pulling a bunch of cobwebs out of my brain. That shit will do something to you, chat. Just like sitting in a chair. <gasps> fuck. Kill me. <laughs> Just like sitting in a chair, playing dopamine simulator for 15 hours a day. That'll fuck your brain right up. I'm held together by threads. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta move my head down a little bit, don't I? One month punk. I'm held together by fishing wire. That's why you can't see it, because it's nice and nice and transparent. <laughs> Thank you for that, Mega Man. If I were thrown in there, would you at least let me squish the toe beans? Hmm. Okay, maybe once. What's the camera software name? Oh, for like my tracking? I'm using uh, an iPhone, uh, so so VTube Studio. If you were talking about uh, uh, that thing, that's Schust. My moving moving background. I can also put my own model into it, uh, I had and it'll. And came running, moth foot, moth foot, moth foot, moth foot. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Thank you, everywhere, uh, for the 18 months. Oh my God. I can also put my own model into Schust, uh, and it makes- I can add, like, really cool lighting effects and stuff to it. Uh, but I think people don't, uh, I think people preferred me not doing that, because, uh, the- the, the image is a lot sharper, uh, when I'm just sitting in front of it like that. No, nobody has any idea what I'm talking about. Let's- I'm just gonna move on. It's okay. <clears throat> a lot of YouTubers use a phone for face tracking? Yeah, it's specifically the iPhone. Okay, this is super, super important, okay? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the draw. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, this is super important. Gas station for milk. 
Dad? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm back, son. It's me, your father. Your daddy. Your your papa. Go clean your fucking room. Uh Okay, so iPhones have this really special thing called a uh, face ID, which is basically what enables you to like open up your iPhone and unlock it using your face, okay? And it's basically like this kind of advanced like facial recognition software sort of thing. Yeah, it's super creepy. I hate the feds too, but Samsung don't have that. Okay, so what Face ID enables the iPhone to do is like super good eye tracking. See like this, like this bullshit? Hey Junie, so I was making baked mac and cheese and kinda fucked up. So go check your front door, nerd. What? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, <clears throat> yo, thank you. Thank you for the 19 months, Eric. Uh, thank you for the bits, Greed Demon. Thank you, Hyper. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yo, thank you for the two months of base Junie merchant. <laughs> I, oh my god, I thought that said reek. I, I'm not stinky. I'm very hygienic. I take very, very good care of myself. In between sessions of sitting on a chair and playing shiny rock collector simulator for eight hours in between taking care of myself. <laughs> we need another Eric stream. His witch family intrigues me. <gasps> do you guys remember? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, one second. Can't you do the same with a regular camera and some software? I think, um... I think, uh... If you're never gonna get the same eye tracking that you would be able to from an iPhone with Face ID, which is everything from iPhone X onward. Yes, I hate Apple. I literally only use this iPhone for face tracking, but uh, unfortunately you're not gonna get that kind of thing with a webcam or even an Android right now. Okay, right, what was I saying? It was the, uh... One sec, one sec. Oh, fuck, fuck. Chat, what was I talking about? His witch family intrigues me. Right, okay, so listen. Do you guys remember when Let's I told go. you about my cousin who is into a uh, radio metrics? One second, one second. Okay, cause there's, there's one word that like is an actual real thing. That means you like, you know, you're you're like a, you study x-rays or whatever, and now you're certified in radi radionics or some shit. But there's another one that sounds exactly like it. Radiology, is it radiology? Uh, no, 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 no. Radiology is the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's radiometry. Okay, so my cousin. I've told you guys about this before, but it was a while ago, uh, who is super, super into radiometry, right? Which kind of sounds like a real thing, except like she and like her, uh, like, uh, gently, I'm gonna say this very delicately, she and her cult believe in it in like a spiritual way. Okay, so basically, <laughs> Okay, so basically how this works <clears throat> is that, okay, so I saw their office and they have like a whole setup. Okay, because she's she's married and her husband is also kind of into it, I think. Um, he said he didn't believe in it at first, but then like she sort of like, in air quotes, like proved some stuff to her, to him. Okay, but like it, they had like a whole setup with uh, one of these things is like a pyramid it's like a pyramid and it's in layers of like black and then like some kind of red stone and then like some kind of purple stone and some kind of yellow stone. Super fucking weird, right? Okay, so <laughs> while we were at their place, they had all of us, me and my younger siblings, because I'm the oldest child, hello, oldest child syndrome here uh, at your service. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> oldest daughters will get it, um, which I imagine is probably a very small minority of you. Anyways, so they took each of us individually into a room and took a little lock of our hair, like a clip, just a little bit, 
and a photo of our back, okay? Like our bare back. Okay, so that sounds buck wild, right? Okay, so the reason for this was that with this power of radiometry, they could, they believed, use the photos of our back and our genetic information in order to communicate healing signals to us. So they were like, you know, before they did this, they were like, oh, by the way, if you guys are ever sick and you're really far away and we can't help you by like bringing you chicken soup or whatever, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna send you good vibes. <laughs> They didn't make you smoke anything, right? No, no, no. My family is extremely straight-laced, actually. I mean, aside from the m minor alcoholism kind of all over, uh, but, <laughs> but. <laughs> so they also took out these dowsing rods, okay? So these dowsing rods, like these metal rods that are kind of in an L shape, and you hold them in both of your hands and you think and you think really hard mm, about what you want to find with the dowsing rods and then you walk around and the dowsing rods will direct you to the thing you're thinking about Apparently, you could even close your eyes and it would still work. <laughs> L plus rod build. So I was like, my brother, my brother was like, uh, no, this is, this is, this is, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? And I was like, shh, shut the fuck up. Let me have this. And I was like, hey, can I try? It's like, here, have my phone. Hide it. So I close my eyes and I let them do it. <laughs> Well, I, like I went to a different room. I come back, I take the rods, and I start walking around with them, thinking really hard. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I might have, I might have fucked up the experiment because I didn't believe hard enough. You know, I'm a little too cynical for that kind of thing, to be honest. <laughs> Sounds fun, not gonna lie. It was kind of fun. It was fun, and they they led me over over to my my cousin's husband, uh, and they were and she was like, oh. Oh, oh, they they led you. They led you to him because they knew that he was the one that hid the phone. And then I just kind of ended up walking in circles with the rods for a while uh, until they were finally like, okay, we give up. Uh, here, it's in a drawer in the kitchen. <laughs> I just ruined their whole evening. <laughs> Yo, have a good night, be not. Hooray. Dude, my family's weird. It's like weird, weird, okay? Like, I've talked about my family before. It's pretty normal. <laughs> Juniper, what did you think of acid? <laughs> like, the drug? <laughs> I've never, I've never. The hardest, the hardest thing I've ever done was like, a, uh, like a chocolate uh, weed turtle, an edible, an edible turtle. And that was the worst experience of my life and I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> if they're Alaskan, that would explain it. They aren't though, they aren't. I'm not gonna tell you guys where the rest of my family is from because that's just getting a little bit too personal. Um, but so my, um, so this is, <sighs> I don't know if this is like a different cultural thing because uh, my family, not my direct family, but like my grandparents and their parents and all of that uh, were, were migrants. And they had like a whole, like a family bureaucracy. Like they, there was like a, there was like a family president and like a family treasurer and like a family secretary. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like. Have you guys ever heard of something like that? Juni was Amish? No, no, not Amish. Uh, they are a little bit granola. <laughs> the mom in the mafia? Not as far as I know. I sure hope not. <laughs> Sounds like the fucking mob. <laughs> 
no, 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 I swear. Uh, normal, normal, just weird. They might have been former nobles. Eh, I don't know. I think everybody has a little bit of... That suine's like a mafia. A little bit of noble blood in them. I don't know how closely related, but like, I am a little bit related to like some English king at some point, and it's just, I don't fucking, I don't care enough to check. I'm also distantly related to Elvis. I gotta stop. Um, I gotta stop laying out my family tree. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so sorry. I say it really distantly. Not by blood. He's like my cousin twice removed or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are any of you guys related to somebody super fucking crazy? Like a serial killer or something? I would love- I'd love to hear that. I'd love to hear if there's anything- anything like weird about that. Like, oh, that guy- we don't- we don't talk about him in our family. <laughs> Are you a moth queen of rock and roll now? Yeah, baby! Thank you for the bits, Dylan. Alexander the Great, apparently, based? My mom dated Weird Al? Bro! <laughs> Damn, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very distantly related to George Washington. Okay, I love true. You, okay. Marilyn Monroe shows up on my family tree? Damn. Cool. The singer for Red Hot Chili Peppers is my uncle, apparently. Yo! I'm related to a former leader of the Albanian mob? <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, just so you know, um... <laughs> uh... <clears throat> hey. Okay. Um, voice, voice is low, voice is low. Do you have any tips on getting rid of a dead FBI agent? I tore up my, like, floorboards to try to hide it, but I don't, like, I don't know what to... Like, eventually I'm gonna move out, you know? They're gonna move this lab. Saw an article the other okay. day saying Gordon Ramsay wanted to join the WWE when asked why he told the reporter that he was sick and tired of it being raw. <laughs> Piranha solution? Why- why are people- why have two people in chat said piranha solution? That seems like- three. What? What the- is this a reference to something? That seems like such an oddly specific thing to say. Piranha- <laughs> oh, it's a, a chemical solution. Oh, I thought you just meant like, toss it into a ri river. <laughs> it's a Nile Red video. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know who that is. Am I too young? I might be too young. One second. Look him up. I am doing it right now. Uh, turning plastic gloves into hot sauce. That boy is on some shit. All right, I'm gonna subscribe. I wanna watch him dissolve some chicken later. <laughs> oh fuck, oh God. Okay, we're good. I had to burp a little. She told me a story about how Beard Al would start shopping super late to avoid people. He's quite normal, actually. There was once a guy who started shouting, eat it, eat it, eat it, at the end of whatever they all went to at 3 a.m. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. I can't imagine being a recognizable pigs are the best celebrity. Bet. Just burn the hair off and powder the teeth because pigs can't digest those. Yo, I got you. Thank you, set demon. Thank you for the bits. I can't- I can't fucking imagine, man. Like, anytime I hear about it- If you ever turn hmm. out to be an actual serial killer, we're all going to feel really silly. I wouldn't be. Why would I throw my life away for that? For a- for a sick kick, you know? <laughs> I'm- I'm- I'm kidding. I'm, obviously, I'm kidding. Uh... <clears throat> Dude, imagine, like, okay, so you know, you know those stories where people are like, oh yeah, I met this celebrity, he or she was actually a real jerk, 
And like, I have to wonder, I just, I have to wonder if maybe they were just really tired and jaded of people recognizing them and coming up to them all the time. Because I imagine people have like totally harassed the shit out of them before. So they just like nip it in the bud before it can go any further, you know? Uh, especially, especially like a, like, oh shit. Uh, thank you for the sub, MNG Spoon. Uh, especially like, you know, like a pretty female actress or something. Obviously, like, fan girls are a nightmare to deal with as well. But I, I can imagine they just sort of are standoffish. Just because they have to be, you know? Uh, yo, thank you, Silence in the Wood. You're doing a wasp slash mantis girl based on some of your live 2D streams. Thank yo, thank you. Also, good, good luck with that. That sounds super cool. I love bug girls. Probably somebody being belligerent slash obnoxious to them. Yeah, yeah. My godfather was the president of my country. People still have godfathers? And like godmothers? Is that is that actually still a thing? I'm curious now. I inspire many? I don't know how I do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> Especially with Catholics. Oh! It's a Catholic thing. Huh. Okay. Or maybe maybe it isn't. Maybe that's just uh more popular in Catholicism. I've seen a few local celebrities as a kid and they seem chill. I've seen some big local bands in person and they are hella awesome. Well, yeah, I definitely think uh, you definitely have to have some kind of charisma, you know, and be able to be good at talking to people. But I, I, I just, I have to wonder. I always just have to wonder, like, damn, I wonder if they aren't like actually total assholes. <laughs> Aside from that one guy, fuck, who was the guy that was in, uh, oh my god, uh, the Beatles? The guy that was in the Beatles that was just a total dick to everyone? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Ringo Starr. Yeah, except for Ringo Starr. I've heard literally nothing but terrible shit about Ringo Starr. <laughs> Have you guys seen his art? Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can bring it up. Uh, and this time I will be using my VPN protected browser. Uh, one second. So he did art. Um, it's not very good, but he has like a whole website. He made NFTs, obviously. Of course he did. <sighs> Bro, please. Oh my god, it's so slow. Fuck. <laughs> Take your goddamn time. It's not like I'm streaming or anything. Uh, thank you for the sub, Gibble. I'm not gonna dox myself, Reagan. The VPN thing. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can find one to- <laughs> Wait! No, please! Please let me copy it! <laughs> what the- Okay, I'm sorry. Um... Fuck. I guess- Let's make a super quick window capture, why don't we? Hey, crossy fingies! Don't let- <laughs> Don't- Don't let me fuck it up this time! Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, let me just do a little cropping for cleanliness. Yes! Alright. Sorry about that. Look at- this. Here, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna move myself around a little Did bit. Did I just join on you stealing an NFT? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can do that. Oh, why am I not... Uh, there we go! <laughs> some, of my, some of my commands are a little bit finicky for this guy. 
We can definitely steal some NFTs. I remember like back when that was starting to become a thing, I was like, huh, wouldn't it be funny if I just took somebody's NFT and made up my profile picture? But I feel like some people wouldn't get the joke and people would unfollow me for having an NFT profile picture. Anyways, uh, so take a look at this. Oh, right, hold on. It's not gonna let, oh. Come on. I'm sorry, my browser is so slow. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, we're, we're, we're clicking off. That's illegal. <laughs> now it'll be fine. So... <laughs> what? Fifty dollars? <laughs> Your baby! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Just use Brave Browser, you ape of a moth woman! I'm using Opera! Apparently, that's what all of the streamers use to not dox themselves. <laughs> Your baby! <laughs> I like- I like this guy. Um, I like that his eyes are two different shapes and colors. Uh, I think the asymmetry was a really nice touch. Um, really, be really beautiful. I like this one. I like how it looks like a crying eyeball. Or something. It's making me, uh, I don't know. Making me look at it, so I guess it's successful. I like these ones that are just Photoshop. I mean, nothing wrong with that. That's- that's cool. <laughs> this one is, um... Very live, laugh, love. Don't- oh, please. PLEASE! <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember in early COVID? Uh, uh... When the celebrities saying that, oh my fucking god, I'm sorry, I have like one IQ. Is only baby moth right now? Mm, that's right, baby moth. That's me. Imagine, yeah, imagine have. Oh, was it literally just called imagine? Yeah, no, no, no. You guys are totally right. I, I, I overthought it. I overthought it a little bit. Very live, laugh, love. I could very much picture uh, like a, a white millennial couple putting that up on their wall in like their living room or something. Anyways, Ringo Starr, very talented artist, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always, I feel bad shitting on people's art, but apparently Ringo Starr is like one of the people that like actually low-key kind of deserves it. <laughs> I don't know, though. Are there clones of Moth Baby just in case it gets punted? No, dude! I'm like a hacky sack, so I'll just- I'll bounce right back! Lennon abused his wife, right? Did he? Was that, um... That wasn't Yoko Ono, was it? <laughs> Stop streaming! Go get the milk! It's been two weeks! <laughs> no, I just came back! Low-key. Lennon abused a lot of women. Damn, dude. Never meet your heroes. Ugh. Lennon was the asshole and everybody coped so hard. Damn. Do you think so? Do you think the whole Ringo Starr hate was just like a... Um, like a... Psyop is the wrong word, but just, just a, a diversion. Damn, dude. I really tinfoil hatted this week. Can you get devoured if you go behind the glass during baby moth? <laughs> the, the, like Ouroboros? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll leave that one up to the imagination. Sure, sure. <laughs> Ouroboros. <laughs> poke them, do not, uh, poke only gentle. Leno was that one guy who made a song about being a good person with no possessions while being an asshole with a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> it, 
<laughs> it's giving the same energy as, uh, as like, we started from the bottom, now we're here, but they were, like, super, super rich when they started their career. <laughs> mm -mm. How many, have any wild conspiracies to tell us about? Oh, shit. That's a good question. Hmm. Hmm. It's hard for me to remember, to be honest, because I, uh, I, I tend to, like, watch a lot of documentaries and stuff about things like that. Uh, yo, thank you for the 11 months, MG. Win. MG Corruptions. Thank you very, very much. Okay, I know somebody brought it up earlier, but the newest Wendigoon video? Is it ADHD or just smooth brain? Bro, I am so fucking ADHD. It's unreal. <laughs> Um, okay, hold on. Let me- I, I'm dismissing the baby. It's- it's gonna be finicky. <laughs> Please! Please! Just do the thing! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, Soleil! Soleil, thank you for the raid! Thank you! Uh, fellow, fellow moth girl! Um, I'm trying to fix something. One moment, please. Okay. Okay, we got it, baby. We got it. Um, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm... No, we're keeping it together. We're keeping it together. I know we, somebody talked about or brought it up earlier, but like the newest Wendigoon video about the boys on the track, like that whole- Scuff moth lol. Thank you, Red Saber. That whole conspiracy is mind blowing, but the fucking twist at the end actually made my jaw drop. I was like, there is no fucking way. There's- <laughs> I am terrified of the feds. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the gift of Wacko. Uh, so you should you should watch that video. It's very very good. Um, oh, Moth Overlord, forgive me for I have sinned. I torrented three games from a multi million dollar company that's currently swamped in workplace harassment allocations. Do I feel bad about it? No. Uh, pirating from Blizzard will always be morally correct. Is that something I can say on Twitch? Gaming YouTube? As with Adobe, absolutely. <laughs> Yo, also Soleil, sorry, I was very, very distracted when you raided me, but thank you so much. Uh, hello Soleil streamers, my name is Juniper. I am a Luna Moth amalgamation. Thank you for the bits tonight, Ornstein. Uh, and I hope you had a really good stream. We bullied Soleil past her shyness. Aww. <laughs> yeah, hey chat, am I violating TOS? Can I get away with it? I don't think we've ever pushed TOS that hard. I mean, like, I've played, uh, like, copyrighted music before, but now my VODs are separated, so it'll be okay. Oh, thank you for the bits, bus driver! We know who you are, Soleil is a simp for me. <laughs> hey, I hear you. I hear you. I'm, uh, I, I'm somewhat of a simp myself, believe it or not. <clears throat> you looking fine for real? Thank you! I am made of insect soup. You can talk about private piracy, just not promote how to do piracy. Okay, okay, I won't then. Oh, good night, Reagan, good night! What are we shrimping? That's a good question. Let's see, who do I- who, who have I been shrimping, like, super hard lately? Let me check my YouTube- oh, hold on! Okay, here's somebody I've been shrimping super hard for lately. I- wait, can you guys see a big red dot above my head? Or is that me? Okay, okay, I know what that was. Yo. I've been shrimping, uh, this YouTuber called Fish for Thought. Uh, and he's like, he does like fish tank reviews, and he's really funny, and I like his animals. And I have been binge watching his videos, uh, because it, he also has a really pleasant voice, and it's just like super, super nice background noise, uh, when I'm gaming. And I actually have two monitors now, so I can, I can glance over and see what he's talking about, and then, then glance back. Yeah, I've, um, I've been, I've been shrimping. I've been shrimping. Who else have I been shrimping? Yeah, I have two monitors now. I'm no longer a humble laptop gamer streamer. 
Y'all keep me humble, okay? Keep me humble. You are so sweet, Junie, but you would go so good with Crab Row. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm afraid. <clears throat> Wait, what? what? <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm just, I'm checking my, checking my watch later. Yeah, no, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it lately, to be honest. Pretty much it. Mm. Yo, do you guys, um, so, speaking of, like, sweet and, like, food combinations, how, is putting, like, sweet stuff on pork chops, like, a thing where you guys live? Like, applesauce, or, like, jalapeno jelly, or, like, berry glazes, or whatever? Is app okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna sound insane when I say that, like, that, like, a lot of people dip, like, pork chops in applesauce, right? Applesauce and pork chops is goaded? Okay, okay, thank god. I didn't know if this was just a my family thing or not. Oh. <laughs> I don't really do applesauce, though. I do jalapeno jelly. That shit is... Divine. Chef's kiss. No, that sounds disgusting. It's definitely not for everyone. Some people don't do the sweet and savory thing, but I really like the sweet and savory thing. It's yummy. It hits, hits all the spots for me. Peach chutney? Bro. That sounds so good, man. I, I was half expecting I eat pork chops with ice cream. No, you know the one thing I don't get is fries and milkshakes. I don't get it. Like, I'm a sweet and savory person, but that one just doesn't, like, it's, those are two different, completely different flavors for me. It's like eating two foods at once. There's no chemistry. It doesn't really match. I don't get that. How do I not get it? I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> uh, but, um... It kind of reminds me of bean milk, you know? Bilk? Uh, by the way, if you're in my Discord, there is a video. I, I did- I did drink some bilk. Uh, <laughs> and it wasn't that bad, but it was like because there was no chemistry, you know? I was just like, oh, yeah, this is just milk with beans in it. That is absolutely incomparable to whatever the hell that was. Sorry, didn't realize there were so many fucking French fry milkshakes degenerate in my chat, you fucking Americans. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is what I'm talking about. I'm like, I don't I don't know how mean I should be. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what if I do live in America? Doesn't mean I identify with it. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a funny joke. I ordered DoorDash from McDonald's like once a week. Womp womp. Isn't that embarrassing? It's a special treat for when I don't want to go walk. <laughs> exactly. Shush. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Imagine present slash science juniper being visited by past slash eldritch juniper. Oh fuck! I think, dude. I don't. I don't know. I can't decide. <laughs> I think I would be afraid of her. <laughs> What? I was like, okay, I've gotten like more deranged, I think, but uh, 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 uh Juniper from like two years ago was really scary <laughs> and and deeply jaded and uh, had nothing left to lose. <laughs> Are Alaskans that weird? Dude. 
Alaskans are so fucking weird. Alaskans are so weird. Okay. Like, there's many, many things that are weird about Alaska. Uh, I've talked about them before. One of them, uh, there is a town, I think it's Talkeetna, I don't really remember, where they do something called a moose dropping festival, uh, where they, uh, they take a helicopter and they drop a fucking moose. No, I'm kidding. They don't drop a moose. They drop moose turds. They drop moose poop, uh, uh onto a big target. And all of the moose poops have like a different number on it and people will bet on which number is gonna go into the target, okay? And then it's like a it's like a big lottery, you know? Okay, and then they also sell like moose poop jewelry there as well. <laughs> and other like, and other, and other like moose poop related accessories. <laughs> remember when you said this and I didn't believe you and behold it's real <laughs> it is I'm not why would I lie to you why would I lie to you about this this is simultaneously too mundane and too bullshit to make up okay so yeah there's like moose poop earrings you could buy there I mean like it's pretty gross right but from what I understand, there isn't like a there isn't like a whole lot of bacteria or whatever in in dehydrated moose turds. It's kind of just digested plant matter at that point. I I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> why buy moose shit merch? You have to understand the kind of people that live in Alaska, that allow something like this to continue to exist and continue to profit every single year, okay? It's a novelty thing, you know? And so you could be like, oh yeah, I have like moose poop earrings that I bought from the moose dropping festival. Or, oh yeah, I made like a thousand dollars because I bet on a piece of moose shit that was dropped out of a helicopter. <laughs> Is Haruka cool with this? That's a great question. I don't know, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to talk about Haruka's sewage system, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> wow. Honk honk. Wow. Speaking of clowns, mm -hmm. there's a new boba place that randomly popped up around me. Decoded mm -hmm. to give mm -hmm. it a shot and so now every time I am walking my dog, mm -hmm. I've been buying all of these boba teas. Nuts. Damn, that is <laughs> You you're 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 you're, you're clowning. You're clowning Thupa Thebra. <laughs> Dude, I'm 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 on the, I'm on that clown shit too, man. I'm gonna draw one. I'm gonna draw a cute clown girl. <laughs> Boo this man! What? Oh, but <gasps> Boba! No! Dude, it took me forever. Boba tastes nuts. What the fuck? I hate you. I hate you. Why did I come back here? Hmm? Why? Explain. I need to pay bills? Who's paying for this lab? It's me? Why am- why am I? Did- Did the lab hands just create a wage slave? For- for- for their own use? Is that what's going on here? Shit. Is that also why they created the, the 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 land sturgeon so that they had to so that they could didn't have to fucking pay any other janitors anymore? Man, I really just stumbled over that entire sentence. I'm away from Alaska now. <laughs> yeah, true. I got out of there as soon as I fucking could. As soon as I had the funds to go get my own place, I booked it. <laughs> College drained you and it shows. <laughs> it 
honestly didn't drain me that bad. I, um... I did pay for college out of pocket, but I went to college locally, uh, kind of locally. I went to UAA, uh, and I did, I was writing on a couple of like, okay scholarships, you know, uh, like federal grants, whatever. You are here because you are wholesome moth with big sister energy moth sniff moth sniff moth sniff. Don't sniff me. Don't, don't sniff this moth. Thank you for the eight months, Jake Cannon. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that didn't feel good. <laughs> moth comfy, moth happy. Although, to be honest, uh, the tuition at UAA is really not that bad. Uh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily a good thing, though. Um, <clears throat> I've talked about this before, but I was going to go into biology, actually. Like, I really wanted, like, especially marine biology. Uh, but stop, stop sniffing me. What the fuck? Welcome back, moth, moth heart. S st stop it. Stop that. Thank you, Twitch Lich. Mm. But I heard that UAA had a really shitty biology program, so I never ended up going into it, you know? So it's just, it's, it's affordable. It didn't put me in debt or anything. I didn't have to take out any loans. Uh, but I also started working when I was like 15, so. Cheers. Cheers, homies. <laughs> There's an alternate timeline where I went into biology and became an IRL mod. <laughs> True. I had a friend, uh, I had a friend in college that ended up going into, uh, genetic research in, like, Washington, D.C. And she had, like, a, like, a $400,000 scholarship or something. She was so young, too. She was way younger than everybody else. Maybe I could ask her to experiment on me. <laughs> Maybe I can ask her to generate some more primordial moth juice for me to drink. Thorsty. Was that the friend who became valedictorian? Yeah! I, I've talked about her before. Um, yo, thank you, Suga. Thank you. Um, she was, like, way younger than everybody else. Uh, and also way smarter. And because of that, a lot of people, like would sort of bully her a little bit and like talk poorly about her behind her back. But I, I stuck up for her. She was fucking cool. She was cool as hell. And she 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 was also fluent in Mandarin uh, because she was Chinese, obviously, uh, but English was her first language. Uh, Incredibilities. 16 months. Uh, yo, thank you. Thank you for the 16 months Delta James. She was cool. The mythical five loco. Wait, what? What? Why, why are we? Hi, Juniper. How are you? Sending much love. Why? Are we, wait. Why are we talking about four loco in chat? What did I miss? What did I miss? Because my brother uh, just turned twenty-one back a couple weeks ago, and he messaged me, and he was like, "Hey." Uh, I'm 21 now, what would you recommend? And I gave him some recommendations, and I also specifically told him, <laughs> avoid Four Loco like the fucking devil. <laughs> Four Locos are, like, straight up illegal in some states, right? No, do not chug that shit! <laughs> Damn, dude, Mandarin was your first language, but you can barely speak it now? Dude, that- oh, I can't imagine what that's like. I, unfortunately, I'm very, uh, very monolingual. Um, I wonder if, if you started learning it again, if it would suddenly, like, come back easier, you know? That is something I'm curious about. What's for loco? It's, um, it's a very cheap, alcoholic- <gasps> canned beverage that also has like oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> why am i apologizing <laughs> because it kept interrupting me okay <laughs> it has caffeine it does not have caffeine anymore okay so the reason for locos were either illegal in some states or there was a cap on the amount of alcohol content it could have was because uh it was both like a relatively high percentage of alcohol like 16 to 17 percent and also caffeine, 
which means if you had a four loco, you like, the way it would work is you wouldn't be able to go to sleep to sleep it off if you ended up getting too drunk. I think that's, yeah, yeah. You don't mix a stimulant and dep a depressant basically. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, dude. Oh my god. I've I've never I've I've never but I've been around people that did and they were fucked up. Like you wouldn't think it, chat. You wouldn't think 16%? That's nothing. That's like literally nothing. That's that's a that's a that's an after work kind of drink. <laughs> but that I've seen it fuck people up worse than anything else. What's this music? Yo, check it out. I actually have a little scrolling bar down here now. I got a little extension. I drink mead and that's 30 proof. Where do you find mead? No, for real though, Salem. Um, I love mead. I've only had it a couple of times, but it is ludicrously difficult to find. I'm old Junie's drunkest driver. <laughs> it's new Junie is our most oblivious pedestrian. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Was that a threat on my life? Hello? <laughs> hey, for real though. Um, if you're free at about 1 a.m., I will walk into the middle of the road for you. I just want it. I just want it all to be over, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is a joke. I don't mean it. <laughs> Ever tried butterbeer? I haven't. I thought that was like a fake Harry Potter thing. You know, like I know they made the drink because of the fake Harry Potter thing. I can make a bomb ass uh, butter rum though. I can make a good one. Do I like caffeinated mead? Oh, I've never had that. I didn't know that was a thing. That's like asking me if I like caffeinated wine. Uh, yo, thank you for the sub, Zeke's Gizmo. Thank you. No, it's actually really. Is it good? It's carbonated butterscotch? What? It's like, okay, so you're telling me, could I just add, <laughs> could I just get some like sparkling like tonic water and then just put butter shots in it or butter schnapps and then just <laughs> call it butter beer? Is that what it is? <laughs> that would be so nasty. I'm gonna find out. Uh, cream soda, dark brown sugar, cider vinegar, heavy cream. Cider vinegar? What? Who in the world is putting cider vinegar? Maybe that's, maybe that's a virgin butterbeer. Ever had a buttery nipple? Yeah, I have. I actually, um, I actually, <laughs> not traditionally. <laughs> I know that's a shot, but- There might as well be butter on everything in that case. Butter corn, butter soda, butter cheese, butter these nuts. Shh, fuck you! Go straight to hell. Guess I'll stay. Take it for the six months of a sweet potato. Um, the, uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, okay, so buttery nipple? Um, no, dude, I just pour that over ice and mix it up. <laughs> Sip it. Why would you take a shot like that? What is the point? Because I know a buttery nipple is a shot, but I don't fucking get it. It's a, like, like shots are drinks that you can't really palate, right? It just makes me angry. Who is taking shots of butter schnapps? You are a fucking baby. Look at me. You are a pussy. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I don't mean it. Damn, I still had that radiometry tab open. 
life, life, my, my family do be kind of fucked up though. Have I tried peanut butter schnapps, uh, buttery nipple? I haven't. I have not. I don't have any Baileys. And I'm all out of screwball. Aww. <laughs> I'm a fucking baby. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, it's fine. Coconut eggnog? No, that sounds so good. I love coconut. It's like my favorite flavor ever. After all the moths I keep alive, even spiders are going to insect hell. What is this? The <laughs> ant bunny. Well, it was nice knowing you all. No! I'm oh, sorry, Crazy Dylan. I went to a distillery this weekend and I had a strawberry daiquiri. Nice, 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 nice. Mm. Ever tried water? Yeah, I'm drinking water right now. Mm. I'm very thirsty. I'm a crispy, crunchy, dehydrated moth. Uh, the coconut flavor, I really love, but it kind of low-key got ruined for me a little bit, specifically because when I was growing up, again, granola parents, uh, but they use coconut oil for a lot of things. Like, uh, coconut oil for cooking, coconut oil for, uh, sometimes I would deep condition my hair with coconut oil because it made it really soft and shiny. Um, so now, like, sometimes when I taste coconut, I just... I just think about, like, hair products. <laughs> Anyways. What's new? What, what's, what's new with the lab hands? I was treating a topical infection with coconut oil? Huh. Hmm. Does that work? I am a moth now this moment right now. <gasps> Why are you yelling at me? I mean, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Why are you yelling? I'm talking mad shit about you in Discord. Leave Roy fucking Junkins. I am going to main meme station right now. Oh, sorry. Not main. Not main. I was thinking about a different Discord. You son of a bitch. Hold on. I got to Hmm. I can't find any shit talking. <laughs> I make mead at home. It's very simple to make as it's just three ingredients. Hold on. First message I'm reading in chat. Is that Vermilion? No, but seriously. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I thought it was gonna be funny. I, I thought it was gonna be seriously. Are you supposed to get to know the person first before asking them out? But that wasn't what they were saying. I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" No, you should never know anybody before you ask them out. If you've already spoken to them for like a minute, you've been friend zoned. Do not even try. You walk up to them on the street. Be like, I will give you $200 to come back to my place. <laughs> and that's how you do it. That's how you get it in the bag. That's how you avoid the friend zone chat. Buttery nipple, panty dropper, sex on the beach, mm -hmm, etc. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. drink name have you heard that you thought was most funny? I can't really... Hmm. I don't know if I can really... Uh... Oh, shit. I know this song. Sorry, it's been a while since I've heard this. It used to be on a really old playlist back when I was like 16. Uh, that was a jarring, jarring moment for me. Um... <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> Haywire. Yeah, I haven't listened. I listened to a couple of songs by Haywire and I really liked them. What's my favorite cereal? What is my favorite cereal? I'm not really a cereal person. Um, I like Honey Bunches votes. I also like Life. I like the, the, the very light, light sort of sugary flavor of Life cereal. And it's also healthy. I like it. OG Monster Cat? Bro, I was, I was, I was into OG Monster Cat. I don't like any, I don't. I don't know, man. I kind of fell out of like EDM and stuff when I don't I don't know if this is like how it's always been, but I feel like 
a lot of it has been super, super vocal lately, which, I don't know, it kind of throws me off. Like, there's always some singer that's, like, just singing a, about, like, whatever bullshit with, like, really awful, poorly written, written lyrics, and it just, like, it totally throws me. Things changed a lot after 2016 or 2017. Yo, those were the, those were the golden years, man. So good. Watch the movie Mimic. It is insane and awesome. You know what's super weird? I feel like I have that in my watch later list. Weird. Just turn your brain off and listen to the wubs. I was never into like dubstep dubstep, but I've always been really into electronic music. Like this. This is nice. Good beats. Uh, unfortunately though, I've had the same Spotify ever since I was like 15. So I can't like just shuffle the whole thing anymore because it will play the worst EDM I've ever heard in my adult life. <laughs> Finish Cowboy Bebop and still feel that weight. Bro. I'm sorry. That's a show you walk away from feeling a little empty inside. <laughs> great, great Netflix show. True. <laughs> Damn, dude. God, you know what else though? Like Hunter x Hunter was also another show that made me feel just so empty and bleak after I finished it. <laughs> it's been a delightful six months, Juni. Yo. Will I start growing moth wings after a year of this genetic intern testing? Yo, we'll see paperback, we'll see. Lots of untested products just sitting around. Anybody could take them. Thank you for the six months. Not because the ending was bad or anything, but like I binged all of it in like two weeks and it was like the only thing in my brain. And then I finished it and I was like, oh fuck, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> you feel so empty. I felt the same way after I finished Dark Souls. I was like, Damn, dude, what do I... Read, uh, Oyasumi Pon Pon. I've been meaning to. I love, love a bleak, depressing shit like that. Love it, just chef's kiss. <laughs> Legend of the Galactic Heroes might feel the same. I've heard Legend of the Galactic Heroes is crazy good. I've heard it's insanely good, but I haven't haven't been able to get to it. Uh, yo, thank you for the 12 months of one, Carlish. I am not reading that message. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Bleak and depressing anime. Try text. Tex Nolis? Nolzy? Tex no Tex. Okay. Read Chainsaw Man. I know, I really, really need to. Um. Fuck. What was the. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Chat, I need your opinion on something. Okay. When I was about 16, I watched Terror in Resonance. And it like completely fucked me up. And I was so sad after I finished it that I remember my dog like literally climbing into the front seat to like comfort me because she could just sense the vibes were off. Chat, was it actually, was it actually that, was it actually that sad or was I just like a hormonal 16 year old? <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, it actually was. See, I just, I don't know if it was, if it was like cheesy or not. I, I think both can be true. Mm. It was sad, but not that much. Definitely hormone. I think it might've been hormone. I was just like, oh, it's so unfair. <laughs> they didn't need to. <laughs> Play Omori Coward Cry on stream. 
I thought, I don't know, man. Omori is kind of out of style to stream right now, right? That might be one of the games I play offline because I, 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 I do, I, I seek out things that make me feel a little upset. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like emotional release, you know? Moth dance, moth dance, moth dance. Yo, thank you, speaks fluent uwu. Just wait till you play Outer Wilds. Oh my god. Moth cult cheer, praise moth, moth cult cheer. Thank you, Techie Cat. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, thank you for the bits, crazy think Dylan. There were two animes that made me either feel sad or made me cry. One was Devil Man Cry Baby, and the other was the end of Demon Slayer Mugen Train. Mm -hmm. Devil Man Cry Baby was fun. Uh, I haven't, I haven't seen any Demon Slayer. None of it. It was like, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if you love Demon Slayer, and this is gonna sound so awful. But for a while, Demon Slayer was like was like the Rick and Morty of anime, where everybody was just talking about it and hyping it up, and I was just like, I have I think I've learned enough about Demon Slayer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I know, I've heard it's good. I know it's good. Um, what if there's a female TTS voice? I could do a female TTS voice. Uh, I just, I like, I like the Brian TTS voice because, like, everybody uses it, so it's kind of recognizable, you know? You can say the same thing about Squid Game. I haven't watched it to this day. Oh, I actually did watch Squid Game, though. I think the first half was a lot stronger than the second half. <laughs> As soon as they introduced the Americans, like, it kind of low-key sort of became a comedy. <laughs> oh boy, moth. Moth sniff. Oh boy, moth. Moth sniff. Thank you, God of One, and thank you, Lost Huskies. Oh, Valhalla. Finished a few games ago. Really chill game with a good music and a good story. That's the one where you're like a, like a cyberpunk bartender, right? I've seen screenshots from that. It looked pretty funny. Mm. Hear me out. Use your own voice as TTS. Tell you what, if somebody managed to develop that, I absolutely would. But it would get so confusing. <laughs> Demon Slayer's not bad. Don't know why people say it's mid. Watch some of the recent isekai anime for mid. Dude... What's the- okay. I- okay, I agree. I think Isekai is super mid. Um, I'm sorry if you like Shield Hero. I thought it was pretty mid. But, have you guys seen- <laughs> Sorry, there's an Isekai that just came out this season. It's called like Trapped in a Dating Sim or something. And, like you just have- just- please just watch the first episode. <laughs> it is- completely unhinged. Like, yeah, I heard it was good. I didn't watch more of it, but the first episode, like, it's so ridiculous. You have to watch it. It's just off the walls. Yeah, it's low-key heat. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's off the walls, man. The anime is mid. Read the manga instead. Is the manga even more heat? Damn, dude. Somebody mentioned ReZero earlier. I fucking love ReZero. I actually love ReZero. Uh, I, I think ReZero and Tanya the Evil are the only two easy guys that I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, thank you. The bits Texas holds them. Thank you. Not a game, but finishing The Witcher 3 fucked me up because I love that game and seeing it end made me empty. Also, good to see you back. Thank you. Moth. Moth. Thank you, Microwave Epic. Tanya's like a 9 out of 10. Yeah, Tanya was cool, man. It was cool. It was like a weirdly high concept, I guess. Uh, Are we getting season 2 this year? Hold on, one second, one second. I know there was a movie, but I didn't actually end up watching the movie. Uh, I know people in chat are going to ask me about Konosuba. Uh, I actually didn't finish Konosuba. I, um, I thought it was funny, but it's really hard for me to finish most comedy animes for whatever reason. 
Uh, Tanya season two. Uh, oh. Early as 2022. That's a little vague. The second season should come out in July 2022. Have you guys seen promotional material for that? I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know, man. I've been led on before. And I, I, I don't trust those motherfuckers. It ain't gonna happen again. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's cope. Let me, cope. <sighs> I'm hyped about the devil's a part-timer season two. I didn't see that one. I did not. Um, yo, chat. I kind of got to use the bathroom, but it's also kind of a good time for me to end stream, I think. Oh, well, like, you know, we're just, we're just chilling. We're just hanging out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a schedule up for this week because it was a little bit late in the week for that. Yo, thank you for the tier two. Don't no end burn. stream, don't do it. Oh! Okay. I do really have to pee, though. Should I take you guys with me? No, I'm kidding. Fuck you. Sicko. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the um. <laughs> the only sekais I see returning right now, besides Re Zero, is Konosuba, the slime one, and Log Horizon. Yeah, I heard Mu Muko Muko something Tenchi was good. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that one's like the father of isekai, apparently. Raid Nemu, she's been feeling kind of under the weather lately. Yeah, I got you. I love love Nemu. By the way, is it Nemu or Nemu? Because I've always said Nemu, but I think Bao said Nemu. Oh my god, please do not piss Moth Raid. <laughs> please don't. Please, please don't. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, sorry, no schedule this week because when I decided I wanted to stream, it was like way too, uh, way too late in the week. End the stream right this second. What? The triple dog dare you. What the fuck? Wait, I have to set up a raid though. <laughs> what? One sec, one sec. Oh my god, I keep on getting so distracted. Chat, what was I saying? I'm gonna cry. Okay, let's set up raid. Uh, okay, okay, raid. What was I talking about? Oh, right, there will be a schedule for next week, though. I haven't broken my, uh, my good streak of using a schedule. I, I, I have successfully tricked myself into kind of using a schedule. <laughs> good morning from West Siberia. Yo! Well, I'm about to be heading off. I'm s uh, sorry. Sorry if you're just uh, dropping in or uh, if you are going to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. I'm going to kiss the homies. Good night. Mwah. I will send you guys off in just a second. All right. I think we're ready to go. You guys know the drill. Uh, don't be super uh, 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 annoying in her chat, because um, I, I think it is kind of kind of late. I'm not super sure what her time zone is, um, but go get him, Tiger. I miss you guys. I'll see you very very soon. Okay, go. Let's go, baby. Now this is.